Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here, and we're going to be looking at the first scientific article that we're going to be reading for this unit, along with how to incorporate those active reading skills and looking at some guidelines for how we should make sure that we're reading deeply into our articles and really understanding what they are all about. So to start, let's go ahead and take a look at this bottom right hand image here, and we're going to quickly talk about what active reading is and how to go about creating annotations for uh, anything we read and amplify or for science. So first and foremost, active reading is when we think carefully about what we are understanding within the article or the reading itself. Active reading is where we read things more than once to better understand them. We look at those visual representations and those pictures and connect them with what we're seeing in the text. It's where we identify things that we want to discuss later so that we can better understand it and use our kind of group members or our teacher to help us again dive deeper into our understanding. And in order to tackle these things, we're going to be creating different annotations where we take different uh, notes uh, for important ideas and information as we read. Again, helping to guide that deeper thinking. So what is uh, those annotations that we look at will involve things like highlighting challenging words, making notes of questions we have, and it's going to note any connections between us and our personal lives to help us connect with what we're reading. And we're going to be focusing on this big idea about how do we practice these reading skills and these annotating skills within our very first article. So let's go ahead and dive into the article and look at how to go about uh, practicing these skills and accomplishing some of these reading annotations. So obviously we're going to start by clicking on the link here. When we get in there, we're going to access the third activity by clicking on the blue inventors uh, inventions link. And then after we kind of go through that, we're going to answer the reflection question below. So let's go ahead and look at it. So I'm going to move my video here. When we get in, your screen is going to look like this with some of our active reading guidelines. And that's your inventors article link. So go ahead and click on that. When we're in here, I'm going to move us again. You'll notice a few things. It has the title here. We got some different things that you'll see, some that you won't. And then we have a bunch of different icons. Uh, don't worry about these icons up here for now or these. We're going to focus on what's in front of you in the middle of the screen. So a few things. Number one, you have a toggle here that allows you to toggle into the different sections and paragraphs. You obviously can scroll up and down using your mouse. You have some colored things that we're going to be looking at along with some blue highlighted and underlined words. We have some major headings and we got some pictures as well. Whenever we create annotations uh, for our reading, what that's going to look like is we're going to be clicking on our screen and dragging okay, um, across anything that we want to highlight. Okay, We can highlight things in different colors. We can make a note of what we're looking at to add in questions or connections that we have and that sort of thing. So let's take a look at a few examples that I've done earlier to see, that, see what you guys can do. So you notice I have this section here that's highlighted in blue, okay, and there's a note attached to it. And that note says, um, I can't even imagine how they would uh, e-learn like us if this were the case. So let's take a look at this part. Many people around the world don't have easy access to energy. They need to power lights, phones, and electrical devices. There may not be an electrical grid nearby, or they may not have electrical wires to bring power from the electrical grids to their homes. So that's where that personal connection came in. I can't even imagine how they would e-learn like us today if this was the case. Okay. So again, making that personal connection, that sort of thing. Let's look at the next part. Or they may have electrical wires, but the nearest power plant may only provide energy part of the time. So part of good active reading is annotating with questions. Questions like, why would a power plant only run part of the time? That doesn't make sense. Okay. Notice I'm making personal connections and I'm asking questions. Again, helping me to dive deeper. Last but not least, whenever we uh, make annotations, we have to highlight key ideas or challenging words. So um, these people may not have much money, so they can't just buy lots of batteries to power their lights. They face an energy problem. They need access to cheap, reliable electricity. So I highlighted this term or this idea because this is something that I might want to discuss with a group member. This might be something I ask like, hey, what do you think they mean by reliable energy? or electricity in this case, and so on. The last feature I'm gonna show you uh, is this button right here. When you click on it, it will turn on this uh, reading 
uh, guide for you. If you press play, it will read the entire article to you as well so that you guys have access to different functions within it. If you have questions about what you're seeing, let me know. Otherwise, go ahead and dive into that question that you have to answer and reach out to me if you have questions.